Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle. This is Brampton Gardener and today it's going to be my July garden tour. It's been a pretty crazy weather um, this summer here, but we are finally getting around to our July garden tour and um, Dexter decided, yeah, he had to join us. So here we are at the deck and these planters have gone crazy. My Tasmanian chocolate dwarf tomato is doing really, really good. It's chocked full. I did pull out the Olapolka because it, it had just seen better days. And my tower gardens have been producing like crazy for the past several months. I've been getting so many cherry tomatoes off of them. And here, oh, look at that. Sugar rush peach right on time. Um, the rest of those planters, the flowers are just boncos. The petunias there are the um, tickled pink climbing petunias. Here we got some lemon ahi. We've got lots of jalapenos coming up on the other one. That is the um, habanada, which I still haven't got a ripe one yet. And tons of cherry tomatoes, as you can see over here. Oh, we got this uh, planter here. And these jewels of Opar have just started blooming like crazy all over the place. Something is nibbling on my um, grass there, but hmm, well. At least it keeps it off of the cucumbers because they were kind of nibbling the cucumbers. My hanging basket that never got hung up, but it's doing really well down there with some of my um, house plants. Those hanging baskets are really loving their spot. And um, I've been collecting, I mean, harvesting quite a few cucumbers so far. So over here we have my Buena Malata, which are these absolutely beautiful purple peppers. And I overwintered this plant last year. That's why it's so big because they wouldn't get that big uh, in one year. Uh, this cayenne pepper is doing amazing i did pot it up early so that's probably why and don't look at don't look at those that's part of a mystery <laughs> a mystery plant video i've actually never gotten around to doing so here we have the indeterminate tomatoes and one cucumber on the right hand side we have been nibbling on the sun gold uh, but nothing else Everything else is still really, really green in there. So we haven't gotten anything off of them yet. And over on the left, I do love my new raised bed, but um, I haven't really done much with that section. I do need to put some more beans in there and get that trellis thing back up. Um, I had thought I was going to be redoing it sooner than I am. I don't think I'm going to be redoing it until probably until I'm dumping all of my pots in the fall. My loofah, I'm happy to say, are doing really, really well. I love using those um, in the shower and uh, for gifts and stuff. It's fun to do. So I'm really happy to see at least two big ones um, coming this year and that will give me a lot of fresh seeds <laughs> so you can see we got we got tomatoes coming but uh we're behind i would say a good two to three weeks i mean i was a little bit late getting everything started because we had such a cold spring um these didn't get in the plant into the ground until very end of may if then and so you know we're just set back a bit but um ooh, this end gold's doing really well we've been eating off of this one as well Next pot, we have some oregano and my lemon verbena, which I bought both of those at the store recently. Um, it took me a while to find them. Actually, oh no, the lemon verbena I found at the farmer's market in Georgetown. And here we have more cucumbers. They've done really, really well. Those are the Japanese style, the husaka, I think it's called. And I believe I have Armenian cucumbers in this one and a bitter gourd in the other one. But I don't, don't have any fruit off of those yet, just off of the regular cucumber. As you can see, my morning glory is doing really, really well. <laughs> it's taking over and blooming like crazy. And these are not elephant ears. So keep an eye out for a new video coming. It is the poor man's elephant ears, but it's from another thing that you can actually get at your grocery store. Oh, beautiful little spider. Keeping an eye on the garden. Uh, we have had so much rain that so many of these plants, and you can see that that was supposed to be standing up. That is my morning glory tower and it has fallen over. I'm gonna have to stake that up better. This is an absolutely beautiful new variety of canna to me, all from seed. And the pink has a really pretty variation on it, almost like an orchid. Um, not just like a solid color to the petals like some of them have. This one here is just solid, uh, but it's still an absolutely fabulous color though. So no hate in my game. <laughs> I am loving all the different cannas, but it is nice to see um, some different varieties this year. And these ones are all from seed. The giant tall ones that you see over on the side, those are from the tubers. This one's a nice orangey color. I really like that one as well. So in here we have calendula. I have these are the Zabrina Malva, a sunflower, balsam in the front there. And tucked back behind, we have some, oh, 
we have a canna that's been hiding back in there in the four o'clocks. Um, this poor fountain grass keeps getting knocked over. Fever fuse all been trimmed back, hoping to get another flush on those. I did pop in some dipolodonias that I got on clearance. I'm really excited. Hope to see some colors on them. It looks like I see some buds. Uh, up here in my petunia tower, these petunias are fantastic and they're huge. So these were from Baker Creek. I believe they're the Florabissima, something like that. Um, I'll try and remember to leave a link down below if you're interested in those. They have a few different varieties. Those are the purple ones. Uh, I have one lone pepper up here. Uh, these plants are not happy. I don't know why. Like this should be a really fertile area where we have, oh, I just knocked the flower off that. Uh, nothing going on on my zucchini yet, but it has like really rebounded. Like the plant is looking good. So hopefully we'll see something there. These tomatoes are just hating their life. I mean, they're putting out some production, but they are so small compared to the rest of the tomatoes. So that is why I'm a huge fan of the um, growing in the containers. For some reason, it just seems to work so much better for me than in my clay hill soil. So sunflowers, are gorgeous and they're just starting to bloom which is great because those um, beautiful hollyhocks are just fading out nope I forgot to show you this one over here let's go oh look at that so pretty too bad they all end up kind of facing the back of the yard and not <laughs> not the deck because that's where the sun's at so this whole section here we've got a ton of stuff that just self-seeded or came back in here I didn't plant a whole lot on this side except for the zinnias I did plant all of those but the yarrow the calendula the poppies we had a bunch of lupins that were blooming earlier and beautiful oh that stupid weed I got got the roots out though so that counts uh, we got some poppies that are blooming in here they're so pretty when they bloom and then they kind of get this kind of dead look when they're done and yeah, I got to prune those out, but they're still blooming. So you can't prune them out. So anyway, it's kind of tricky. Ooh, looky here. This is going to be the first hibiscus blossom of 2024 on the summerific. And the other one I showed you right before that was the white um, hibiscus that self-seeded. Echinacea is doing really good. Um, the calendula, we have a rogue amaranth there. The peony plant is actually doesn't have any downy mildew yet, which is nice for a change. And what on earth is that? Absolutely not, sir. Although I do have a lot for them to eat in there if they do like the four o'clocks. But yeah, Japanese beetle. That's my first one that I've seen this year. and I'm not happy about it. Going to get out there with my bucket of soapy water. But yeah, um, the plants this year, we have so many things self-seeding along the edge. They total disregard for my border. Yeah, the border just did not did not happen. I was really trying to be intentional with it this year too. And I don't, I don't know they're rebelling. Um, but see like the detail on this canna, like doesn't it look kind of orchidy? Um, yeah, it's really pretty. So I've had pink, I've had yellow, I've had orange. Uh, this section over here is doing really good. Uh, we have some sweet peas. We've got mint growing in there. I think one of my hydrangeas is dead. Um, that canna was blooming just a few days ago. It was beautiful yellow. We got more can. Oh my God. I have so many cannas in this planter. Like <laughs> that was a bit of a mistake. I thought the bulbs were dead and I just kind of buried them in the soil when I was filling the planter. And then they came up right in the middle of all the other plants, but oh well, they're fabulous. So this one, this section here is really filling in. We've got some dahlias. We've got a bunch of petunias, um, the four o'clocks, of course. And, um, oh, my little wee bell of Ireland. It has um, come in. Also, of course, some morning glories that I'm constantly pulling out. We can see uh, this, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Spiderwort. It really took a beating with the rain. Like I've had to come in and kind of prune it back. But these four o'clocks, they have been loving it. They are loving their life here along the edge of the border. And they just look absolutely fabulous. Um, next up here, we have new to me this season, a Tamarillo. This is a dwarf Tamarillo variety from Baker Creek. And there's a ton of blossoms on that. So I'm really excited to taste them. It's supposed to be like a cute little yellow berry type thing. Not really sure um, exactly what it's going to taste like. I'm kind of picturing maybe kind of like a ground cherry, but I could be totally wrong. No idea. Another cute little petunia down there. And this forage has self-seeded itself and it is ginormous. Like that is all one plant. Like it comes off to the left and to the right. It's all overtaking off. Um, this is the only place where it looks like the Alyssum border seemed to be doing quite well. <laughs> uh, 
and despite my best efforts. So the cannas are just getting started. We've got lots of sunflowers in there. We've got the red amaranth. We even have green amaranth, which is considered a weed, uh, but they're still pretty in the bouquets. And I believe it's callaloo, or at least related to callaloo. I believe it is edible. I think almost all the um, amaranths are edible, but most these kind these varieties are usually grown especially the red one for bouquets back in there I have my hyssop which is doing really well and I've got this smaller little sunflower there in the front I have so much tucked in there <laughs> that the growth um, I didn't realize how much shorter some of the celosia is than other varieties and I don't know if it's just not getting enough sun or if it's the variety zinnias have done amazing this whole section filled in way faster than I thought it would uh, mid -Ju mid June and July I was what I was expecting like for August so it's doing really really well this section as you can see is super happy with the full sun that it's getting over here I have my Jimmy Nardello's another loofah with a petunia in it and a pot with my leftover cannas and it's that pot is starting to um <laughs> misshapen <laughs> a little bit because of the the canna bulbs that are in there but this is where we're at sitting at the very end of july of 2024 and everything you know is really really done well uh you know there's a few spots in the garden that are missing some color right now just because the things have you know bloomed out and up in here i did have to go back and cut back a ton of the already bloomed and spent blooms and knock down blooms of say like the shasta daisies and some of the yarrow that really got um, beaten up in the storms but Dexter and I have been out oh, Dexter uh, we've been out here enjoying the garden and you know most of this I did buy a handful of things but the majority of all of this that you've seen especially like all of the petunias and the cannas and everything were all grown from seed and so a lot of time and effort has really gone into this garden over the last several months but to be able to just sit back in the chair Dexter on my lap looking out enjoying the garden and then being able to share it all with you has made it all worthwhile Thanks. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Is that your line? Is that my line? Bye. Bye. Can I go inside? Can I go inside? Yep. Yeah.